What's up, everybody, man? This is your boy, Lycan. Uh, today, we got a video reaction to a game that I play a ton, Rainbow Six Siege. Today, they're releasing the Parabellum Operator gameplay today. Uh, well, it was actually yesterday, but I got up, didn't know it came out, so now I'm watching it. Let's just react to it. Let's get into it, okay? See you later. Okay, so seems we're supposed to be getting a male uh, defense operator, and then, no, I think they're both defense operators. Yeah, they're both defense operators. Uh, and I believe it won't take place in Spain. Maybe, correct me if I'm wrong. But, yeah, let's just go ahead and start the trailer so we can see what this gameplay is all about. The new Villa map coming to Rainbow Six Siege in Operation Para. Off the back, I can see that the actual UI is changed at the top. I like that. I like that they changed the UI a lot of a lot of times so the game feels like fresh. I love that. Bella may look like a nice spot to relax. But and attackers beautiful. will need to be on high alert to deal with the DB is gadget. Okay, this is probably what they were talking about where um the female operator she actually has these she actually has three deployable uh devices that that pairs as a decoy. And that that can be pretty dope in some situations. Just that the two new defending operators from the And this is also the other guy. He actually has two deployable cameras that he can look through whenever he pleases. And he can also and he can also shoot. I don't know what it is, lasers or you know, bullets or he can shoot stuff through it. I'm not sure if these are impenetrable. So if you're watching the video and you know that they're impenetrable, let me know in the video. But yeah, so this is the two operators, but let's finish the whole video out. I just wanted to talk to you guys about that. Two new defending operators from the Italian CTU are hey, putting in play. Let's go. I can't wait, man. This, 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 this stuff is going to be dope. Oh, my God. One of the most Ooh. important skills in Siege is okay. spotting your enemy. That, that, that's a laser. And, and does it have... It doesn't seem like it has any, like... Reserved like like it has like a set amount of ammo. It's like it just goes and that that'd be OP if it just goes bro Like if it never runs out. Is it kind of like a turret where like that little bottom white part goes down? You can't use it anymore for a little bit for a little while before they Seems like it you. But what if your enemy wasn't your enemy? Say hello to alibi and alibi. I don't think and nobody will get Yo alibi only one of them is your opponent the rest are holographic decoys. That looks pretty Alibi dope. I can throw her three decoys anywhere, but they'll only deploy if they have the space. They, they can't, can't hurt, hurt you, but if, if you shoot, shoot them, them or touch, touch them, them, your, your position, position will be compromised immediately. And you'll oh be my god. Repeatedly for the next few seconds. Okay, she has impact grenades. It's pretty good. Watch out for decoys pretending to spawn peek and decoys pretending to hold angles. That that decoys that used to be decoys. That decoy might be OP a little bit. Pretending to be a decoy. If you actually know how to use it right, it will be like OP as fuck. I'm I'm, I'm literally getting kind of excited about it. I think I like the male operators better because you can actually like, like you can actually keep keep the people back. You know what I'm saying in a specific area that you don't want them to be pushing through that much. I, I still don't know if it's possible to destroy the camera. If it's possible to destroy the camera, then I don't see the male operators being that 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 strong. So I don't know. Doing any damage to the base <clears throat> of the decoy will destroy it. And as long as you don't shoot or touch the hologram while doing it, you won't be marked. Twitch is an especially marked? good decoy hunter. Thatcher can disrupt them for a bit, and Glass's sight, sight won't, won't be fooled. You can, you can also, also keep, keep an, an eye out for visual discrepancies. discrepancies. The, the decoy, decoy always wears, wears Alibi's, Alibi's default, default clothing and, and wields her Storm SMG without, without any attachments. attachments. So, if you see Alibi wielding the new ACS-12 shotgun, you'll know she's the real deal. So okay. what happens if Alibi chucks a decoy outside? Well, like a defender who runs outside, the decoy gets marked. But marks are different when Alibi's in the match because they don't reveal the operator's identity. So a decoy deployed outside and a defender that runs outside will look the same Wow. the attacker can actually see them with their eyes. Wow. The decoys Stop it. After 10 seconds, that's 10 seconds you got to be kidding me right now. For you know how crazy that is? It's going to be for like 
just like those those like those thirsty like spawn campers and they're gonna be just throwing like all three of them outside and just running out there trying to kill people. And mischief just might be Crazy. Alibi's most effective weapon. By making you doubt your own eyesight and second guess your own reflexes, Alibi gets in your head, and that's not where you want a defender to be. Five seconds remaining. Now we all know how powerful That's cameras crazy. are in Siege, but the second new defender, Maestro, is equipped with cameras that are a new kind of powerful. Behold the evil eye. It's bulletproof. It can see through smoke. It shoots a freaking laser beam. Maestro can plant his evil eyes on floors or walls just like Jaeger A floor? And once installed, they're hard to get rid of. Bullets or melee hits won't work. You'll need to use explosives or destroy the surface it's planted on or call in your old pal Sledge for a quick demo job. Thatcher and Twitch can disable them temporarily, but as long as the shutter is closed, evil eyes are free to be used as cameras by anyone on the defending team. They can mark targets and they can see through smoke, so you'd better be sure there isn't one watching when you rappel in through a courtyard roof opening and try to plant the diffuser. But the evil eye doesn't Yo, bomb is gonna be so lit, when bro. Maestro is using one and aims down sights, the shutter will slide open to expose. Look at the range on that. Once the shutter is completely open, Maestro can fire the laser to destroy drones, blow up breach charges, and damage attacking operators. A single shot may not do a lot of damage. <laughs> it's like a personal bodyguard or like a, like a search dog or something. This can be very dangerous for an attacker with low health. Deploy in a good spot and you can quickly land a bunch of shots before your enemy zeroes in on you or you overheat the laser. When the okay, overheat open, laser takes about, what, five seconds? Vulnerable to gunfire and melee attacks. Well, three seconds. And remember that the laser won't interrupt a diffuser plan. It's up to Maestro and his LMG or ACS-12 shotgun to clear the room. If you seek dastardly new gadget strategies, prepare for Operation Parabellum. And to keep up with the latest in Rainbow Six Siege, visit us at news.ubisoft.com and subscribe to the Ubisoft YouTube channel. Oh, man. So, already... I like these operators. Um, I'm not gonna like. I like these operators. These are probably like one of, probably gonna be my favorite operators in a minute. Um, which one do I like the best? I like the evil eye better, and I'm so glad that there's counters to it because I'm not one of those players that want something that's OP and then just abuse it. I want there to be counters to it, so I'm glad that there's counters to it. You can do sledge, you can do explosives, you can like temporarily disable it. No, you, we yeah, you temporarily disable it. You got Thatcher, you got Twitch, and all that, all that good jazz. I wonder how much damage does it take per laser. It is kind of faster than a Twitch, but I want to know how much damage it takes because I want to know how many shots it takes to kill somebody. Because because you know, but yeah, Evil Eye to me is dope. Um, and and the also the uh, decoy is awesome too because you could do so many different strategies with that, especially if you're a roamer. So that'd be pretty dope too. Uh, yeah. So. Catch me on. Uh, we'll be on. I'll be on YouTube and Twitch, uh, streaming some Rainbow Six Siege this week. If 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 you ever want to uh, join up and play some rounds, we could play some rounds. A casual or rank doesn't matter. We could try these operators out when they come out. I don't think they're out yet. But I think they're coming out this week. And uh, I, I'm only on Xbox. So here's my gamer tag. It's in the. Uh, the it's actually in the video and actually in the description below. If you want to uh, team up. And I'll uh, play with Double Dragon. I'm only half of Double Dragon. We also got Amens. Also, he's not here. So if you guys want to team up with us, all the information is down below. Make sure you sub. If you want to see more Rainbow Six videos, like the video. Let me know in the comment section. And I'll see you guys when Parabellum releases. Yeah, boy. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And make sure y'all hit that notification bell so I can see our latest videos. Where's the goddamn button? You heard what she said.